Well, hello. How are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. We're in Van Dromeda, mm -hmm. but we're not exactly travelling very far, are we? No. no. So today, what we're going to do is a bit of a review of 2020, tell you who we are, why we bought, what we've bought, where we've been, what we've learned, uh, what our future plans are, and so on and so forth. I'm Dave. I'm Jill. And this is Van Dromeda's Travels. I got it right. <laughs> So right, like I say, welcome back to the channel, it's lovely to have you here um, it, and it's lovely to have you lend your company to us, we think that's great, don't we darling? Absolutely, yeah. Yes. We do appreciate you using your time, time is precious. It is. Um, using your time to join us, so thank you very much. Yes. And Happy New Year. And Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year, yeah. Happy New Merry, Merry New Happy. Christmas, New Year, yep. and various other, and all of that kind of stuff, eh? Yes. What she said. Uh -huh. Yes, that's basically where we're at. So, who are we? Shall we tell them who we are? If you want. I'm Dave. No secrets. There's no, no real secrets. No, I'm Dave. I'm 65 years old. 65 and a bit. 65 and a bit. Um, I'm a fat lad. Uh, not a small boy by any stretch of the imagination. And um, I like me comfort. I like travelling, I like astrophotography, and I love, 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 love my wife. Cheers. <laughs> uh huh, right. And who are you? I'm the wife. <laughs> That's what we're putting it. <laughs> oh, dear me, hang on. It would be gin, but it's too early in the day, isn't it? I didn't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, well, how long ago is it? Seven years? What? That we were in New Zealand? Um, six, seven years ago, yes. We went to New Zealand and we hired a motorhome, mm -hmm. didn't we? Yeah, and the motorhome the motor home we hired was a Swift Bolero, mm -hmm. one down from this Swift Besser car 584. It had a queen bed, didn't it? Um, yeah. Like this one, had a queen bed. Yeah, slightly different. But, but the, yeah. the, the lava bogatry was down the side, wasn't it? Yes, the bathroom. Yes, that's what I said, the lava yeah. bogatry was down the side. And it was a queer shape, you had one foot in the shower tray, one foot on the floor, and your bum somewhere in between to do what you needed to do, wasn't it? And yeah. it was, it was, it was all right, it was okay, we enjoyed it. Well, yes, because we knew it was only for three weeks. Yes. So, so that you know, was fine. If you know the end is in, in sight, you make do, don't you? And my end, because of the shape of the lava boggery, <laughs> was frequently in sight. <laughs> yeah. Am I going to get wrong? Probably. Okay. Will I get my bottom smashed? No. Oh, damn. Uh, so, yes, um, we did that in New Zealand. I said at the time I wanted one, didn't I? And you said. Well, think about it. So it was certainly something that we both enjoyed. We did. Um, the biggest difference, though, is in New Zealand, it's so set up for motorhomes. Oh, Lord, is it ever. And, and tourists, because obviously there's millions of tourists go every year. Not at the minute, like. Normally speaking. Normally speaking, about. yes. Um, and we weren't sure how set up the UK was. So, of course, it's, things happen, you come home and... One thing leads to another, and oh yeah, well, we're still thinking about it, we're thinking about it. Shall we, shan't we? Well, we won't, we. Then we'd fly off to Lanzarote for a month, come back, mm, I'm not sure. But lockdown certainly made our minds up for us. It does make you think, doesn't it? It does, it, you know, puts things into perspective, and uh, that, that's what it did for us. And you learn very quickly that life is too short, and yep. it is for a living, which is why I say at the end of every video, enjoy the roads, enjoy the skies, but most of all, enjoy your lives. That's the most important part, enjoy your lives. Mm. Do it while you can. If you have the wherewithal, do it. Absolutely. My granddad always used to say, 
if ever you get given an opportunity take it try it if you don't like it you don't have to do it again if you do like it you can keep on doing it until you've got no money left well quite yeah which is why i married jill <sighs> right so so yes that's why we bought that's why we bought we decided right yep. time is now let's take the plunge because we can get into vandromeda she wasn't called that at the time no. We can get into Vandromeda and diddle off to dark sky sites, bottle three and below. I'll explain that in other videos. And then we can point the telescope skywards and take lovely pictures. And at the same time, mm. Jill can go and enjoy the freedom of lovely walks in nature. Because you like that, don't you? Yeah, I do. I do. I love walking. She can, yeah. go, she can go walking in nature. I can make sure that I don't suffer from separation anxiety from Van Drummer because I still haven't got over that ever. Oh. I don't like leaving the van. And also, if we want, we can get a bit solitude, can't we? Yeah. If we want. Yeah. So that's all good. So we got Van Drummer and then that was middle of September. September the 21st, actually, mm -hmm. we picked her up, didn't we? Yeah, I mean, we, we'd actually bought her. August the 21st, Mum. Oh, I was going to say August the 21st, September. yes. Because of all of the lockdown shenanigans, we rang them up and said, what have you got with a massive lavvy? Because David is not a small boy and need a bit of room. You know, spread me wings, as it were. And he said, we've got one. And he took the, 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 uh, the iPhone or whatever phone it was he, he had out and showed us Vandromeda. And we said, right, when can we come and have a look at her? So he said, uh, how's about Saturday at 23 minutes past the hour of 10 o'clock in the morning? And I said, 23 minutes past. He says, aye. I said, OK, we'll be there at 22 minutes past. So then we went, we went there and uh, we went and had a look. We had a look at another couple, didn't we? They had a Contiki, exactly the same, the Contiki Sport, identical mm. to this and six grand more. So we said, no, we'll have the best of car. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So we bought her. And then waited eight weeks, nine weeks, and then finally she got delivered. We did the handover. Benson did the handover, didn't he? He did. Benson's a biker. Good. He was a good lad. We, we, we bought we bought her. We got handed over. Um, and I was stunned to discover that it didn't come with a gas cylinder. I would have thought, hang on a minute. The fridge works off gas, the cooker works off gas, the heating works off gas, everything works off gas, and it doesn't come with a bloody gas cylinder. Mm. Crackers. I mean, why can't they just put it in and put it in with a price? Anyway, never mind. We've got it. So off we went. And the first place we went to was up in Kilda Forest to a place called Ravens Hill, ACL. Certificated mm. location, don't you know? Which is posh word for a five van site uh, overseen by the Caravan and Motorhome Club, UK Limited, PLC. RGB, I don't know, whatever. What did you reckon to that, Ravens Hill? It, it was a nice location. Um, it was a brand new CL. The people that owned it had, are quite used to having um, lodges for sale and for rent. Um, all the lodges right down into the, the valley were theirs, apparently. So they, they'd only opened this CL I think it was a couple of weeks before we went. It was. Um, and we asked for... Super pitched, had everything, had everything, had electric. Because we thought, you know, first time out, if we've got everything close to hand, we know what we're doing then. <laughs> we could have a choice of two. There were two super pitchers, both of which were hedged. Well, there was a hedge either side and a dirty great big gas cylinder beside one of them. The other one was right beside the entrance onto the pitch. Yeah. But none of them were marked up as to which way no. you should go on. I keep watching Bob Earnshaw's videos. Hello, Bob. Hello, Jenny. How Hi. you doing? Nice to see you. Um, you are watching, aren't you? <laughs> it better be. Anyway, I haven't watched Bob and Jenny so much. It would appear that on a lot of sites, you've got to reverse in or you've got to whatever. The thought that you've got to be there with your, your back end right beside a peg or something. On this... Not a want. clue, not a clue. You could see where the electric was, you could see where the drains were um, on the super pitches, that was about it. Uh, part where you like, more or less, so well, we did. Having said all that, we really enjoyed it because it was our first time out. It, it was. rained all the time. But it was so romantic. But it was, we were just achieving something that we'd set out 
to achieve and that was to get away and we saw clouds being born we did we did there were the it was a lovely sight, it and was. I would probably go back. Not for the astrophotography; it's not brilliant for that. It's crap for it because it's well. If you watch our video, you'll put a clip in, won't you, of the cloud thing? Yes, I'll put a clip in. Of, well, the clip will have been playing if it's not playing right okay, at this minute. Right, yeah, um, and yeah, I'll, I would go back, but not specifically to do astrophotography. There are some lovely walks through the forest from there. Um, it is up from Kielder Castle, um, so if you walk down, you've got quite a hike back up again. But there are other loads of other walks. Anyway, so that was that one. Yes, that was that one. Um, then from there, we went south. We did. We went to Keld Knoll Farm near yeah. Pickering, mm. um, and I thought it was lovely there. Not a CL, not a CS. Um, used to be a CL, is now independent, has 11 pitches now? Yes, probably. Even L more now. Probably. Possibly, possibly more. And mm. brand new facilities being built, possibly even as we speak. Um, they've been built. They're closed until March, because no. they, they close over the winter. Can't understand why, because it would be lovely down there. Yeah. And you could get yeah. on. But once yeah. they've got it sorted, they may well open further. Mm. Again, a dark sky site, and I will say utterly amazing for astrophotography i had a lovely time mm. there's video of that up there yeah. i got some of my best photographs i've ever taken because i've mm. been doing it ooh, all of six months <laughs> some you of the doing photography for a lot longer than that well, yes um beautiful sight you can even get fresh straight out of the cow milk there at 28 pence a litre 27 when we 27 there. pence a litre and it's well worth asking about that and getting some because it's gorgeous. But if you do go, don't say, do you sell to the public? No, you can't say that. Because they don't sell to the public. They don't. They don't. But if you say, can I buy some from you? Yes, you can. Nine o'clock at the... At the dairy. At the dairy. They'll take a container. You need to take a container and they'll put a litre in. Or you, two litres or... or um, there's lots and lots of places to go to around there. It's lovely really, place, really nice. lovely place. Yep. You know I'd budget at 20 seconds for each of these places, I but never mind, doesn't matter. Cut it I am. Out, um, next on to Leakworth in Middleton in Teesdale. Lovely, really mm. nice. What an absolutely gorgeous place it is. Not cheap. No, um, but then the best never is. I'm not. I'm well, not no. cheap. I'm quite um, expensive. Ask me daughter, she'll tell you. They do an adult only area, which according to the plan had five sites but i could have pictures but i could only find four it's down by the river down by the riverside um the river tees because it's in yes. tees deal yeah um and you can turn right and walk up to the the town of teesdale middleton in teesdale, middleton in teesdale. or you can turn left and go to barnard castle and get your eyes tested or negotiate a cheaper price on vaccines and fail on that one or keep going and eventually you'll get to the North Sea. And our house. And our house, yes. <laughs> and our house. <laughs> so Kel so yeah, that was lovely. Yes. If uh, you if you go there and you it, it's a very, very narrow road to get into it. Mm -hmm. If you are leaving you've got to leave before twelve. And if you're arriving you cannot go before twelve you do not want to meet somebody coming in the other direction. No. Um, Trust me on this one. That, it's, once you've done it, it's not so bad. It looks far worse than it is. But you still don't want to reverse up it. No, you don't. Trust you me don't. on this one. This is a fella. I don't. I'm not scared by any road mm -hmm. in any size vehicle. I would not want to reverse up that little lot. There's some gotchas. Mm. There's some um, illusions that make you think the road's going one way when it goes the other. Yep. So leave before twelve. Arrive after one. Everything will be fine. Yeah. If you want to book a, a further night or, or six. two, don't book it online because you'll be charged an extra booking fee. So pay, pay the light pay them at the on site. site. Yes. Yeah. From from there, the next one was when we did the Scotland tour. Yes. Aye. Yeah. Up into Scotty Botland, uh, Bonnie Scotland. And the first of the, first of the uh, stopovers, the first place we stopped at was Corrie Hall stopover. 
was. That was in Dumfries. Yes, in Dumfries Shire. You loved that. I did. It was absolutely lovely. Uh, but it is, as it says, it's a stopover. Um, we parked in the, well, what I would call a stable yard because the horses were stable there and we were parked there. And it, do you know, it was absolutely fab. It I could have stayed for a week. No, no. Um, but it is what it says. It's there's, a stopover. You know, no facility. Well, there's gas. Uh, gas. Water. Water and electric. Yes. That's fine. Um, there's no toilets. No. Or no, there is. There. Yes. They weren't open. Where? It was uh, that hut on the way out on the right hand side. Oh, right. Okay. It, just because it has yeah. curtains at the window doesn't mean it's not okay. a toilet. Yeah, right. Yeah, but it wouldn't have been open when we were there anyway. No. Um, so, yeah, great for a stopover. If you're going up, up to Sky or anywhere like that, it's absolutely fabulous. It yeah. was. It's quiet. I mean, quiet. Quiet. That's really quiet. Once the horses have gone to sleep, which they did. Which well, she brings them in, doesn't she? She brings them in, and once the horses are asleep and, and they've stopped passing wind, there's no noise other than no. buzzards and eagles no. and stuff lovely. like that. It's lovely. beautiful. Lovely. And if you do go and you've got kids with you, Keep your eyes out underneath one of the shepherd's huts for the biggest rabbit you'll ever see in your life. Huge. It was huge. I thought it was a dog. N n n no dog. But it wasn't no, a dog. It was definitely it was a, a rabbit. rabbit. Oh, it was, because she said it was. And she's even got a name for it. Yes, and I can't remember what it was. Stew. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, oh, yes. Okay. So that was Corrie Hall. And, Corrie Hall, and from mm -hmm. there, we went up towards Glenelg. And Glenelg and the Scottish trip will be in the next instalment. We'll see you on that one. Until then, enjoy the roads, enjoy the skies, but most of all, enjoy your lives. See you next time. Bye.